Good morning, Code Bakers. We're going to add a flutter overlay button system onto the animated sprite project that we built in the previous two videos. Download background music. I am using ukulele from the royalty free Ben Sound site. Cute with the cat might also be a good sound. Little Idea might also be a good alternative. Download the music and place it in the assets slash audio folder of your Flutter Flame game. Under assets slash audio, I'm going to call my file music. This is a MP3 file. You can also go to a site called Pixabay and try some different music there as well. You can also follow along with this tutorial using a brand new game. So it could be completely blank, but put the update and the render methods in. So if you're following along with the tutorial, we didn't use the render method yet in the game. So let's just add that in. I'm not sure this step is necessary, but I think the Flame documentation for Flame Audio did say to make sure that the game had the render and update methods. We're kind of going to use the material uh, icons and the uh, the material buttons. I'm going to wrap the entire game widget in a material app. Most of the Flutter applications that you built, it does come with this material app. It's built into the demo and most people use it. You don't necessarily need it. Obviously, we're using Flame without the material app. Uh, but let's use it for this time. Normally, the app also has a scaffold. I don't think we need it uh, for this tutorial. I'm going to make sure it runs. Uh, in this case, I'm not sure if it's necessary, but I'm just going to stop the entire game and restart it. I'm going to create a new uh, file for the button controller. I'll call it button underscore controller dot dart. I'll start things off with a stateless widget. And I'll call the stateless widget button controller. In VS Code, if you have the extensions installed, the shortcut is STLS or STL. Also, you'll need to import the at least the material widgets in order to get the stateless widget. We're also going to use some other like material icons and the material buttons. I'm going to put a elevated button in or actually maybe an icon button because I'll use the material icons um, as the button itself. So let's set up the icon. Uh, we're actually going to need to wrap this in an icon. So, but let's get it set up first. So it's, we can at least choose the icon that we want. I think I'm going to, select the icons that volume up rounded and the reason it's red is we need to wrap it in an icon with a capital i so on pressed uh, we'll just put a message first so i'll i'm going to wrap it in an icon The main objective here is to learn how to use the flame overlay system to overlay the flutter widgets. It's an alternative to using the flutter stack. To test that the button is working, we're going to start off with a text message just to say that the button has been pressed. So I'll import the new file that we just created. We created that button controller dot dart which we're going to use in the next uh, the next step here. So the key part of the lesson is this overlay map builder, which will be new if you've been following the Code Cakes tutorial. Previously, we used uh, a stack. So you could wrap the entire thing in a stack and have the a game widget be one of the stacks. I don't have an opinion about whether it's better to use a stack or the overlay. I'm going to try to use the overlay for a while 
and see which one I prefer. The overlay requires, it's a map, so it requires a, a string identifier as the first element. So that's a button controller. It's to the left of the colon. And then after the colon is um, some type of function that you run. And it's going to return the button controller. So the ma it's a map, right? So it's there's a key and a value. The key is the button controller where it's user specified. So we're specifying the button controller. That's our word that we made up. With the overlay builder map set up, we can now add the overlay. The key step is to use the, um, the built-in method, overlays.add. And because we're passing in a context, I actually don't think the material app has a context. So we're going to have to probably add the scaffold in. But let's, let's give it a go and see what happens. Overlays.add, and it's, an, it's the name. So it's a map, right? So that button controller is a string that we made up. OK, so let's add in the scaffold. Above the overlay map, we just need some type of widget that has a build context. Um, one of the most common ones is the scaffold. So we'll just wrap it within a scaffold. The scaffold uh, doesn't have a child, it has a body. So that is, these are pretty common for Flutter, material app and scaffold. Okay, we now have the Flutter icon button in the upper left-hand side of the screen. The main point of the lesson is how to get or, or overlay Flutter widgets on top of the Flame game. If this is confusing, you could also use a Flutter stack as an alternative. So a Flutter stack would have a children, it, it'd have a list, and in the, in the list would be the flame game or the game widget, and then another one would be their, your buttons. The game widget is from flame. Oh, you normally are using the game property of the game widget. There's an additional property for overlay builder map of this game widget, which you can pass a key value pair. The, the key is you make it up. So you could call it button controller. It's a string and the value is a function. So it's key value. The key is the name of the overlay that you make up. And the value is a function that runs. The callback function that runs has two um, parameters that it accepts. One is the build context, and the other one is the, the game, the instance of the game. And then you return the Flutter widget that you want. So when you return the overlay, it could be, for example, a stateless widget. And within that stateless widget, that's where you have all the things that you want in your overlay. Then in the onload method of flame game, you add the overlay. So let's review in the code. The first concept is that there's a game widget. You normally use this game widget every time you use flame. The game widget has a parameter which is going to be, you're going to pass it the name of the flame game. So you're going to instantiate it. So this my George game extends the flame game here. So you're normally using this game widget and the game. There's this new idea here to use this overlay builder map, which is a map that has a key. This is user defined. So you, we created this name button controller. And the other side of the colon is the value. The value is this callback function, which is returning a button controller, which we defined this as well too. This is a stateless widget. So it's game widget. First parameter is game, which you're probably familiar with. The second parameter here is this overlay builder map. Um, and this is what we pass a key the name of the overlay, a value, which is the function of the overlay. 
So above this, because we're using the context, we have to have a scaffold. And we're going to use the icon. So we're wrapping the, the scaffold in, mater in a material app here. So the second concept is now that we can access the Flutter widgets, we've specified it in a separate file. This button controller is a stateless widget. And you can put whatever Flutter widgets you want in here. I think you're probably pretty familiar with Flutter at this stage if you're using Flame to build the game. Um, and you know, if not, drop me a, a comment here and maybe I can build some additional just Flutter specific tutorials. But I think there's a lot of them out there on Flutter if you're interested in Flutter. Okay, so this is the icons here that we're building. So it just returns the button controller and you do have to import the file right here. And the third concept is on the onload method. So when the flame game, we're in the flame game class, there's a built-in onload method, which we are overriding. I guess I should override it. We're going to add the overlay right here. So this is a keyword. It's from the flame game and there's a keyword overlays dot add. So add the overlays and this button controller again, it, we defined it. This is the key that we, it's a string that we defined. So button controller we defined up here. And that's the connection point between the overlay builder map and adding the overlay into the system. If you just want to display something, you don't need to pass the Flutter uh, stateless widget here, the game. However, most likely you do, or um, maybe in many cases you do. So we're also passing it the game. We, we set up this property in our constructor for button controller. So this isn't built in. We're requiring the game uh, property here to be passed in. And then once we have the game inside the stateless widget, we can access the specific property of the game that we want. And for this uh, demonstration, we're just getting the name of the soundtrack. The main point of this portion is that you can you can get the properties or the variables from within the game. So we're going to cover this step by step now. Subscribe to the channel for updates on the more than 50 videos I've made on Flame. The videos with source code are also available for free on Teachable, 100% free course. This is a hobby. In whatever way you choose to learn, make sure you have fun and unleash your creativity. Have a fantastic day.